Leute. Oh. Hey. Hi, welcome to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Simone. Today I thought I would do a video on teething. Micah is currently 10 weeks old but since last week he has been putting his hands more and more in ah. his mouth and biting on them and if he's able to get hold of your hand then he will just gnaw on it like really hard. Hi. He's been getting like quite upset and like I said if he manages to get his fingers in his mouth like he's doing now or if we put our like a finger in his mouth obviously it's clean um, no. it just uh, yeah. it just seems to give him so much relief and then when we stop doing it it seems to come back again he's been drooling quite a lot as well so we've been putting these bibs on him and um, originally I just thought that it was just you know he's found his hand and like you know he's just exploring but He's just doing it a lot and he's been waking more in the night with it and again if I rub his gums he seems to feel a lot better. I think I'll insert a video clip of him here. Um, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning and I managed to capture what it was like. Are you happy now? So, oh Baba. So this is what Mike has been like for a good few days now, he's nine weeks old and he's constantly got his hands in his mouth. It's in the middle of the night at the moment and it's like it's really agitating him. I didn't think that a baby could teeth so early, like he's only nine weeks old and when I rub his gums, like if he'll let me, it seems to really help to calm him down. It seems to help him calm down. He lets me rub his gums. Oh, Baba. My hands clean, by the way. They feel so rigid, especially at the size, like quite sharp. But look, he seems to be really calm. That's what's making me think that it is teething. He hasn't got a temperature. He's not got diarrhea or anything like that. Um, you know, he's pretty happy all the time. It just seems every now and again this happens, and then he's drooling a lot as well. Hey, does that feel better now, Baba? Hey, can I have a smile? Hello? Hey, yeah, you're happy again now, aren't you? Are you happy again? Are you happy? Oh, they saw again. So I went on our NHS website, if, you've, if you're not from the UK, um, then this is the National Health Service website, so there's lots of information on like pregnancy, babies, illnesses, things like that, and it goes into the baby teething symptoms, it says that all babies are different, and it says that some babies are born with their first teeth, others start teething before they are four months old and some after 12 months but most babies start teething around six months. So, and then it says, oh, okay, what's to do? What's to do? Hi, are you okay? Sorry if I'm going to be jigging around a little bit but anything to just get him settled while I'm making the video. So it says your babies, um, but, um, sorry, babies' teeth sometimes emerge with no pain or discomfort at all. At other times you may notice that your baby's gums are sore and red where your tooth is coming through. So the baby's gums are definitely sore. Um, like I said, when I put my finger in his mouth, he chills out a lot. Um, but he, I wouldn't say that his gums are really red. I did try and film, but he's not letting me. And um, one cheek is flushed. I've not noticed that. The baby's dribbling more than usual, 100% definitely. The gnawing and chewing on things a lot. He is doing that, like I said before, he's constantly seems to have his hand in his mouth. And they are more fretful than usual. I would say that's true. 
Like I said, he's a really, he's a very happy baby and he smiles a lot. You'll see that in the last video. I'll put a link above if you've not seen that video. But there's just times when he's just getting really upset and he's had his milk, he's been changed, he's had stimulation, he's not tired. And he's just going absolutely crazy with his hand and he's getting all upset. So... It says some people think that teething causes other symptoms such as diarrhea and fever but there's no evidence to support this and you know your baby best get medical advice if you have any symptoms that are causing you concern I haven't got any other concerns he's not presenting with any other symptoms he's not had a fever um, he's not had diarrhea but I suppose with him being exclusively bre breastfed he's not having hard stools anyway but I wouldn't say that his bowel movements have changed or anything so when I had a look in his mouth to me I mean I might be wrong but it did look like he had two little lines at the you know um, where his first two front teeth would come at the bottom um, and that seems to be where it's hurting him quite a lot that's where I rub um, I did go to the pharmacy and they gave me some of this medication but when I was reading the side effects and some of the I think it's got sunset yellow in it and I know that there's been some studies that link that to some like adverse reactions so I didn't really want to give him that so what I did was I bought these teething salts which I've used with my other two children but obviously not at this age they was older um, the Nelson's teething granules and it's got chamomile in it it's a homeopath tradition it's a homeopathic um, traditional one to help with teething so it's from three months but obviously he's like two and a half months yeah he's yeah two and a half months so what I did was like it says here three to six months a spoon should be used and half a sachet given at a time checking all the granules are fully dissolved before giving the remaining half so and when when they're older I used to just pour it directly in the baby's mouth and you can use one sachet every two hours for a maximum of six doses during a 24 hour period so what I've done is I've just been giving him a couple of sachets a day when it seems like he's really struggling and I open the sachet and I've been just putting my finger in and then dabbing it onto his gums because I was a bit worried about putting a spoon in his mouth if he was going to bite on it because like I said he's really been biting down hard on my finger so and then pouring the sachet in his mouth I was worried that he would gag on it so I've just literally been rubbing it on his gums and it's been dissolving and then he's been feeling a lot lot better Feel a bit better now. Um, I'll leave. I'll leave this one. I'll leave this one here for later. Thank you. Better now, honey. Hey. Oh. So as you can see, it's only a little sachet. So, so look, you can see it's helped to calm him down. Do you feel a little bit better now? Hey, feeling better now. Are you talking again, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Uh, you still got your hand in your mouth though, haven't you? So lucky. He... Oh, now he's moved him. But he had his hand in his mouth again. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, I'm just going to continue to do that. There's not been any side effects with these granules because they are natural. I didn't um, have any like problems with the other children 
and I was just at a loss really I didn't want to be giving him any like you know medication or anything like that especially at this young age but it does seem to be giving him quite a bit of relief but if any of you mums out there are, are going through this or their babies appear to have been teething like when they've been like this age or even younger I'd be really interested to know if you could leave a comment down below or have you got any natural um, solutions as well I know that um, there's like teething rings and things like that for the baby to hold but obviously you can't hold it so it means me holding it but I've just been finding at the moment that the finger's been helping but if you do have any other suggestions then please leave a comment below and if you liked the content of this video I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye